This is not a rubbish car. I thought oh. it was going to be CAC. So what? What is a shit car these days? Um, what, what is it? Ooh, what's, I mean, in your opinion, esteemed. I mean, there's not actual genuine dog shit anymore, is there? Or is there? I'm trying to think. What I've driven as actual dog shit. I don't think. But there's, there's any... disappointing cars. Yeah. There's cars that aren't as good as they should be, and there's plenty of those around. There's I mean, not, look, there like... you go, there's one, Mini Countryman. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. I mean, that is actually quite a cack car, because you get the spec wrong, and it's got a bad ride, it's badly packaged, it's, it's like annoyingly design. designed, you thought. It is annoying, it is... I think that's, that's still got that funny circular key thing you've got to put in the dash, and it only goes in one way up, and you can't see the slot, and yeah. it's just annoying. It's not a very well thought out car. It's not. Slightly lazy designers. It is um, too. So shy. yeah, mini countryman. Like you say, it's not. It's what? Not load. Sorry. What? No. Yeah. MG. Yeah. Chinese MG. ownership. Yeah. It's not even made in Birmingham. <laughs> Octagonal bow yeah. since 1927. Yes. It's the first rule. Locally sourced produce. There's another bloody MG, or is it the same? Is that an MG? Too? That's an MG. That's the. That's ZS. a GS. That's, That's a ZS. That's, That's the one ZS. where the wheels look way too small. Do you know? Genuinely, people are buying local. Well, they are eating yes. the, 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 the veg out of the field, full of vegetables, yeah. And they are buying locally, locally sourced, not made, but sourced uh, MGs. That's spectacular. Interesting. Interesting. I'm trying to think of cars that are not, that are a bit crap, but not uh, like terrible. Yeah. Oh, Vauxhalls. Vauxhalls are generally a bit of a letdown, aren't they? They feel sort of initially okay, and then the more you drive them, you go... Oh. I don't like the Corsa, and I genuinely never have. I never have, but the last Corsa I drove actually was okay. Was it? Yeah, deceptively so. Look what's coming up here. It's an a... Avanti. Oh, my goodness. Slow down. And Slow he's down. got an Espace. Oh my goodness! What is this, this, this is a person we might be able to do business with. Look, they've got an old Merc there. Got as well. They've got a, is that a first gen Espas, and yeah. it actually looks in good nick. Yeah. D Reg, 87, 88. It's right close to the front door. In fact, it's part of so close to the front door you couldn't get in. They, they're clearly backdoor people, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Backdoor people are interesting, aren't they? I, you I, you I know think, people who only use the back door. Yeah, I do. The Not, front door's piled up with stuff. You can see through the double yeah. glazed panel. Yeah, and they're just back door people. Anyone who knows them knows you just go straight around the back. Yeah, but like, when do they make the executive, perhaps family I decision of like going, this house has two doors. We're not interested in the front one. I don't need a formal entrance. I'm, I, I, I know sort of, I feel like you're inherently inclined to back doorishness. Me? Not you, no, don't I say one might be. Oh, okay. Inherently. <clears throat> Although you could be backdoor people with your house, because you could walk round it. Our house it could be a backdoor house. Yeah, our house. It's you, not a formal house. Our house, you'd have to go down the side passage, and it'd be a bit weird. It doesn't work in cities. I think it's more of a sort of villagey thing, isn't it? Being yeah. a backdoor person. It's odd, though, isn't it? Do you not think it's odd? It is a bit odd, yeah. People that. But I think people some people have given just up on the front door. Yeah, it's informal. It's so informal. But I went. Uh, there's a there's a well-renowned Helmet Imp. Uh, Rally specialist and parts purveyor near where I live, and he is. He, he, when I f was finishing the conversation on the phone, going to pick up parts, he went, Don't bother using the front door. He said, We never do, we haven't opened it in years. You see, that's the only thing Straight about around the back. If you're a back door person, you have to then brief newcomers to your house, yeah, or put a formal sign on the front door which says, This door is never used. But then that's almost you're then acknowledging that you might as well brick it up. Well, like, Which is I, weird. as I approached the front door of the house, I saw piles of Quentin Hazel boxes. When did you Just have a Hillman Imp? I didn't. I've never had one. My, it was my dad's first car, and it's a car that I will one day own because I really, really like them. I prefer them to minis. But my Enfield electric car had numerous Hillman Imp parts oh, from the factory. The right, steering, the right. front suspension was all Imp. The indicator stalk. The steering column was imp, so they used loads of first gen imp bits. And I found out like one of the best dudes in the imp world lived six miles. I away. am the king of imps. He's brilliant. Ian, his name's Ian. Ian, he's a lovely guy. By day, he does industrial cleaning, by night, he does imps. It's a good blend of 
things. He's a cool guy. And, and he never uses his front door. So. He doesn't have a mobile phone. You have to phone oh. the landline, his wife answers. I say, can I leave a message for Ian? She goes, yep, as soon as he's finished work, I'll get him to phone you. And she'll either write down said message or they've got an answer machine. I'm sorry, but in the modern world, that's deliberately strange. They don't use their front door. Oh, uh, yeah. Fr anti front door people. They are back door people. Now, when I was a kid, we were not back door people. There's another <laughs> MG, it's an MG3, that's the second one I've seen. It's been driven by a 109 year old lady. <laughs> I'm getting weirded out by a lot of this area, but mostly the number of MGs there are around. <laughs> anyway, when I was such a kid, a high frequency, such a high frequency, octagonal badges. just like I would have to spend a month where I live to see this many MGs. Do you reckon the mayor of Waplode drives, I'd like, yeah, I, I like to think he drives an absolutely mint Montego Turbo. No, because he's probably been given a new MG by the MG dealer. He'll have, he's a, ZS. Mayor, yeah, He'll have a ZS with flagpoles. Yes. Won't he? <laughs> and he wears his jingle around his neck. Of course. Mayor. What's the point of being the mayor if you don't get to do that? Thanks, mate. Um, so, yeah, when I was a kid, um, we weren't backdoor people at all, but the lady next door but one, who was our sort of best friend on the road, Jean. 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 Oh. Jean used to just come round the back. Because we the side gate was oh, open. She used to come round the back right and, and, and tap on the kitchen window. Personally I wasn't alright with it, but somehow <laughs> my parents were. Oh, I like did Jean ever make you a cake? Um I'm not sure she did. I know the, 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 as soon as you hear the name Jean you assume cakey cakey cakeness. But yeah. no, I don't remember her making me a cake. She did lots of other nice things, but not cakes. Are you ever disappointed by old ladies that don't cook, can't cook? Uh, which, is, which is very stereotypical of me, but I am. If you're an old well, I lady... I don't think I've ever met an old lady who, 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 who just can't. can't cook. Yeah. I'm mystified, though it's easily explicable, by men of a certain age who just go, never cooked a meal in my life. You just go, really? Tiffany Dell's never changed a nappy. He's got three sons. Fact. Uh, Fact. Uh, and he used to just laugh at me and go, Johnny, I can't believe that you're changing nappies. No, he's brilliantly old school. Brilliantly could, old school. Could Tiff cook a meal? I, I know, because I worked with him about four weeks ago, and he said, Patsy's out tonight. He said... Got a, I've got a boil in the I've got boil in the bag rice and he said I've got curry oh sauce. God. Oh my god. Brilliant. Popmaster. Ken Bruce. Love Popmaster. Popmaster! If somebody phones me at 10.30 in the morning, unless I'm extremely busy, uh, I, w I will not answer. I will be listening to Popmaster. That's fair enough. And you're a man who knows about his pop trivia. I think your music knowledge is, is very high. Yeah, and yet sometimes I get wrong footed by Popmaster. Um, because it's tough. It's tough. It is tough out there. And it's not a given that you're going to get a clear run. No. It happened this morning. First of all, forgive me, I think I did ring you at half ten when you, I was on no, my way you, to your you, house. You rang me at ten twenty. Oh. And I, I noticed I cut the conversation that You before. did wrap it up. <laughs> we were having quite a sort of normal conversation, then suddenly it was curtailed, and I realised. And then, then I went, and you'd said, I'll see you just after Popmaster. Because and I, I thought, oh, Popmaster. I changed on to Radio 2, yeah. and I. I Court Popmaster. Because pop come ten forty five it's all over. But this morning, for example, the lady got a very hard run of questions, I thought, and I couldn't yep. get many of them at all. No, and then the guy well. got some I felt pretty easy questions. Well that's Gary Bones' fault. Who's Gary Bones? I think he's the guy that writes all of Popmaster for Ken Bruce's show. No. I think so. You know the name of the man who writes Popmaster? Well, I think it is Gary Bones. My I God. My brother, my brother, my brother, who's older than me, yeah. thinks that it is chronically depressing that I listen to Radio Two still. Where, uh, where'd you go after Radio Two? I mean, it's well, magic or something, isn't it? You go, you get, you found Radio One irritating. I flit. I do Radio One for a while. I do Radio Two for the, the, a big chunk of the day, and, and sometimes I'll do Six Music. You six see, music at the weekend. Because I'm a music spot, I'm kind of six music first and then everything else follows after. No, I'm with you. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not disrespecting Oh my Pop goodness. Master. What? Sorry to cut the conversation short. What um, was it? 
I think that was a Bentley, an 80s Bentley Flying Spur in, 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 in champagne metallic, three grand on someone's front wall. Three thousand pounds. I think we need to go have a look at that. I think we need to turn around. Was it what a T2? Uh, what's the eighties one with the oblong headlights? Oh, wow. so the f so a Bentley eight or a Mulsanne or yeah, a Mulsanne, Turbo R. I think, I think it was yeah Turbo R shape. Because originally the Turbo that. R was the Mulsanne Turbo. It's that. I think it's that. Oh, you uncorked properly it. unleashing the G now. The now. <laughs> Get out of the way! I've got a cackle Bentley to look at. No, I can't actually pull in. Just slow right problem. down. Just, just slow right down. down. There it is. Oh, hello. No, it's a oh, Royce. It's a Rolls. It's a Royce. It's three grand. Is it three grand? It's four. It says four in the side. But the, but the windscreen says three. Well, now this is. They need, need to get their story straight. That looks quite clean. It does. does it not? Are you tempted for a three grand champagne finish Rolls Royce? Yeah, can I? Can I admit something terrible? Yes. Are you? Well, yes. <laughs> Because I mean, do, you know, I'll tell you what, the first thing I start doing is going, right, what am I going to do with that car? Would it reasonably work? Because I can't be asked if a car doesn't work. I'm not one of those people that goes, oh, good, I'll spend every weekend trying to make it work. You properly. do know what you are buying, though, when you're looking at it. But I'm also thinking, then I'm thinking, right, what is the conversation going to go like with my wife? I'm already mentally mapping it. A fairly clean... I've bought a new car. But probably unreliable 80s Rolls Royce. Yeah. And it's also in... I mean, it's not white, so that's okay. It's not yeah. a wedding car, and no. it's not black, so it's not funereal. Yeah. But it is in a very <laughs> jingly jangly, nice. fake tan kind of colour. Fake tan, sort of winters in Marbella, or yeah, I like it. pedo at the BBC colour. <laughs> Either way, that's not a good colour in this day and age. Did for you see that what? Car. I didn't see why. I didn't catch what colour the cabin was. I'm hoping it's butterscotch. <sighs> Can you imagine? Champagne with butterscotch. So now also what I'm doing is I'm thinking, could I pass that off as ironic? Yeah, I think if you had some flat link wrist wealth, yes. Well, but I mean... Do you have such a thing? I don't see you as big a bracelet I'm too, man. I'm too old and too uncool to be ironic now. If I was a hipster and I lived in East London... You'd have that. Yeah. Like a shot. I'd and I would drive around with my massive beard and my... my Wading trousers and my wading trousers. My, oh, you know those. What are they called? Pond skater trousers. They're ones <laughs> that don't go to the where they should. Oh yeah. They yeah, make you look like a tip, but they're quite fancy. Yes. And and my my ironic sailor tats. <coughs> and I have my arm at the window with my big sailor tats and and uh, yeah. I would. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd just be cruising around Hoxton in my gold rolls. I happy as a hipster I quite clown. like it um, and it did look fairly clean considering it was sitting on someone's front lawn but what I would say is I've made a pact with myself if I ever own a Operation U Tree era Rolls or Bentley I would have to it would have to have an engine transplant small block it has to be Chevrolet and the reason but it already for, has a V8 yeah but it's it, it's disappointing and massively overpriced to keep it alive. Oh, I see. And yeah, on that basis, point, I'm at, yeah. and the braking system is ridiculous, and the suspension system is ridiculous. I would tear it all out. It would have well, hydro pneumatics on the back on that, I think. Yeah, I just go Citroen, Citroen kit. Just go aftermarket adjustable Bill Steins. I'd go six pot Will Woods, and I would go Chevy small block with two snails, a bit like a hot V. AMG motor. Well, you've talked yourself into it. Better go back and buy it. <laughs> Not going back into it <laughs> unless, unless suddenly uh, I find I find a loose thirty grand under the sofa. Oh, that's what that's what you'd budget to do with all of this. I'd want it to be quick, but I'd also want to be able to burble around town in it, and it still look yeah. like that. Yeah, that's just me. It's got to still look like that. Those original wheels on it. Also, I noticed something quite cool about that is that it appeared to have, I think, a, uh, a Northern Irish plate on it. Did which it? means no age identifier, which means it conforms to the Tau of Quentin. Uh, Stick a non-age plate on it and the neighbours will never know.